Here there is no typical day. Every day is very different. Shelley Johnson has been the director of the Marianne Young Senior Center in Blaine for 20 years. Best job I've ever had. Couldn't see myself doing anything else. This building is bustling with activity all day, evening, and even on weekends. It's been bringing in seniors for daily programs and a lunchtime weekday meal since 1992. An average is about 100. And then for big parties, like we have entertainment for our birthday party every month, we typically have about 120 or more. For our Thanksgiving meal, we had 150 people just for that. And then we broke it down and had programming all afternoon as well. So we had a lot of people in and out of this center that day. It's those people that keep Shelley coming back day after day, year after year. The people are the reason why I'm still here. Love them to death. Um, they're very um, loving, appreciative. Um, they're always saying thank you. They're always willing to jump in and help us out. And we do need help. We couldn't run this facility and the programs that we do without them. Over the years, Shelley, along with longtime Senior Center Coordinator Ann Janoski, have created programs that have engaged each new population of seniors. We haven't discontinued a lot of programs, but we've continued to add. We fill our space up completely. We'll have, instead of one thing going on at a time, we'll have maybe three things. So it's a little disruptive sometimes because we don't have separate rooms for the activities but uh, we do the best we can with what we have and we'll have 35 people just for a movie day. Sometimes we've had up to 70 just to come and watch a movie with us. With all the programs they run, Shelly does have her favorites. I love the wee bowling group just because they get really excited and you hear a lot of chatter and laughter and camaraderie for that. Um, line dance is fun because they have music going on. Um, like to see the people coming in for the movies. That's a fun day. We break halfway through and have popcorn and, and snacks and things. So that's a good group. Cribbage group, we have tournaments and things throughout the year. Excellent group of people, draws people from all the communities around and they're really a fun group. With all the programming going on, space is always a concern. A potential new senior center was attached to the community center referendum in 2016, but failed. The push for a new space has not stopped and answers could be coming soon. We have an architectural team that is um, looking at a space needs study. Um, the information has been gathered between staff and our senior um, center advisory council. They have met, will be meeting again in January. There's, there's going to be a plan put together in January that will go to the Blaine City Council for review and then it will um, progress from there I hope. And uh, as far as location, the location here is perfect. We love Aquator Park, and I think if another facility is going to be built, it'll be just right across the parking lot. That would be ideal. Then we could keep programming going here and just shift everything over should that be built. So we're excited about the possibilities. Shelley sees the Senior Center as much more than just a place for seniors to hang out. She sees it as vital to their overall health. I think it's critical for people's health and well-being, actually. Um, the social piece, if you live alone, maybe you've lost a spouse, there's a lot of um, loneliness that can cause a lot of health problems. And so it's really vital that people get out and be social, meet new people. They've developed friendships. They'll go out and um, eat together and go to dances together, you know, just a lot of wonderful things like that. So to me, it's critical. To, keep people busy, interested, active, um, eliminates depression. Um, like I said, loneliness is huge. As we get older, we lose a lot of friends and family members. Um, so you need to develop new friendships and you need a place to go and do that.